Stealing nearly 500 grand meant for Navy veterans is off to prison tonight. That money came from donations from people looking to help, including donors here in Cleveland. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. News Channel 5's Pete Kenworthy has the story, all new at 6. Blanca Contreras spoke quietly in Cuyahoga County Court this morning as she apologized for money laundering and three other felonies. And then I would like to express my deepest remorse for each and every victim that was involved and also due to my lack of knowledge. Special Prosecutor Brad Tomorrow from the Ohio Attorney General's Office says Contreras cashed checks for more than $472,000 donated by people in Ohio to U.S. Navy veterans. Somebody that would normally be willing to help out and donate that kind of money is not going to donate anything because they think it's just going to be a scam. Tomorrow says Contreras was listed as acting treasurer for the U.S. Navy Veterans Association, a charity prosecutors say was fake. Blanca's boss, who called himself Bobby Thompson, amassed millions of dollars in 41 states around the country. He used telemarketers to solicit donations meant for vets, then he took the money and ran. And local veterans organizations are feeling the sting. I can't tell you enough how how awful this is for organizations like ours. Sharon Mosher runs the Buckeye chapter of Paralyzed Veterans of America. They need help. They always will need help. She says her charity has been swindled by a shady telemarketer. And again, I apologize. And that every person like Blanca Contreras makes it harder for every reputable charity to raise money. These folks have done terrible things. And in an ironic twist, Thompson used some of the charitable donations to make donations of his own to conservative Republicans, including Mike DeWine when he was in Congress. Now he's the Attorney General prosecuting the case. As for Contreras, she'll have the next five years in prison to think about the money she took from the veterans' organizations. Pete Kenworthy, News Channel 5.